Alright guys, how you doing? It's Rabia. I am sat in my little studio of joy and this is going to be a cool little video for you guys today because I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the Two Notes Torpedo Live and just show you a couple of cool things that you can do with this particular unit. Um, firstly, thanks to everyone that checked out the other videos I've been doing uh, talking about solo EP and using to, uh, torpedo and just having a laugh and getting some cool sounds. Really encouraging to see so many people up for hearing that music, so thank you. Um, but yeah, basically in this video, uh, hopefully I've worked out the technological uh, requirements to be able to show you this efficiently and, uh, and consistently throughout the whole video, but I'm trying to do a screen share um, so that you can see exactly what's going on on my monitor um, uh, whilst I'm messing around with the torpedo and just generally showing you how I'd go about getting cool sounds for tracking at home um, or in the studio, wherever you are, and tracking. So, um, if we can see the uh, computer monitor now, basically I've got a window open with Logic in it, and this is Logic Pro X. Uh, now, I've, I've created a new session um, with a guitar left channel and a guitar right channel. Uh, now, basically what's going on here is the... Um, you can see my input is set on my interface, so the, the two notes is going into the input 9 on my interface because it's a simple jack cable from the back of the two notes to the front of the audio interface. You can use any audio interface you want as long as there's a jack input. Um, and I mean, because guitars, you want to you know, double track and triple track and all the rest of it, it doesn't matter if it's mono jack or anything like that because you're double tracking. Um, and yeah, basically, just to recap how the two notes works. Uh, it's a it's a load box, so that means that it can take an amount of watts from a, or a load from any amplifier up to 100 watts. So today I'm going to be using this lovely Panama Inferno. This is the 100 watt version. Um, it's four channel beast. If you haven't seen this before, I've done a review, so go check it out. Now that's going eight ohms out of there. It's going into my two notes torpedo. Uh, the back, which is an 8 ohm input. It just has the one input for 8 ohms, but it also has a speaker cabinet through, so you can go from your head to the torpedo and then out to a cab, because you can use the 2 notes torpedo to model uh, different cabinets on your speaker cabinet, whether that's colourless speakers or even your guitar cab speakers, just to EQ and fine tweak your guitar tone. So it's really, really cool. But today we're using it literally amp to the 2 notes torpedo live into the Tascam and then into Logic and I can show you how I would go about getting cool sounds uh, for tracking basically. So if I go back to the window you can see I've got Logic open, I've got my guitar left record and what I like to do is track it central and then I'll hard pan it left and vice versa I'll do that with the right side so you'll hear a nice fat tone. Um, so next I'm going to show you the Torpedo Remote. Now this is a sick piece of software that comes with the uh, device and what it is, if I open it up, is it's essentially a more in-depth version of the control panel you see on the front of the load box itself. Now this is sick man, this is so cool. So obviously you log in with your email and you've got all your stuff going in and basically if I start on the left hand side across to the right, you've got your preset window which is, this is my preset here and then there's a little meter bridge. And now preamp means, if I just swap, turn that off, preamp means it will simulate um, a, a preamp. So if I switch on, you can see I've got, a, I've got, this is lit up and I've got volume presence and depth, pentode and triode, and here's a little image here. If I bring down the drop down box, you'll see 6L6, EL34, 84s. You've got the full works and it will simulate. So you could literally plug straight into the Torpedo Live and you could simulate whatever preamp section you want so you can have pedals or anything like that and you should get a pretty good accurate representation but that's not what we're using for today. I'm simply showing you how I would go get about getting a nice cab sound with any amp that I choose to use. Today I'm using the Panama. So next up you can see I've got a drop down box of my cabinets. Now these aren't all the cabinets I've got this is this is simply what's loaded onto the device and there's a there's a little manager window that I'll show you in a bit. So at the minute I'm using the NOS V30. It's basically V30 speakers in, but it's nicely tuned. I was recommended this by Ryan Bruce, AKA Fluff, 
Um, how's it going, man? Uh, so yeah, that's really cool. Also, there's base cabs, and then you've got custom cabs, but today we're using the NOS 30 Next up, we've got our mic window. So as you can see, I'm using an LDC, or in other words, a large diaphragm condenser. Now this one, I'm not actually sure what it's more on because the name's Nightfall, and I, to be honest, most techies will go, oh, that's definitely this, but I, I don't know. But next, you can see on the drop down, we've got different mics. So underneath, we've got another large diaphragm condenser, 87, which is a Neumann U87. And then next, we've got a ribbon 121, uh, and these are the Roy uh, Royer ribbons, I'm assuming. So ribbon 121, ribbon 160. Then we've got dynamic microphones, like a, a ND421, Sennheiser, and a Shure SM57. And then we've got some dynamic bass mics here, as you can see. Now, what's really cool about that is that those are microphone impulses as, uh, as well. So essentially that means that what you're gonna hear is essentially an accurate representation of the microphone itself in digital form, which is just incredible technology. Now this is the bit that gets really impressive. Um, what you're seeing here is a room simulator. Now, as you can see, there's a mic stand with the mic of choice, and if I swap mics, you can see how it changes to a different type of microphone, which is sick. It's just for the attention to detail. Next up is our cab, and there's some soundproofing here. And this is our cab in the room. Now, this slightly gray area is the sort of perimeter or the area I can move my microphone in to get my turn. I can move this mic stand anywhere in here and what it will do is make it sound completely different. Essentially it's simulating a room and you can see here this is the distance axis and then this is the central so we're going literally left to right and then back and forth. Now you can swap the cab around from front to back which is also sick because Sometimes you want to mic up from the back, sometimes, well most times you mic from the front, sometimes you want to do it from the back, depending on the tone you're going for, depending on the style of music, all that kind of stuff. So I will show you that shortly, it's insane. And then we have post EQ, so post micing EQ, if you want to fine tune anything, you can see you've got all your different frequencies here, which is sick. And then this is your level, your output level. And then over here, you can do basically a quick preview so you can record a little snap. And then over here is basically, these are your, this is folder, window size, it's all self-explanatory, but this is really cool. This is our memory manager. So if I open this up, you'll be able to see everything that's, that I have in terms of cabs on a list, and then everything that's actually on the devices over here. And it's simply drag and drop. If you don't want anything, pop it in the bin and bring, bring up a, a upload of the caps to it. We also have presets. So that's all super, super cool. So next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little, I'm gonna create this preset now. So this is the Inferno Mic 1. Now what I'm gonna do is show you how this microphone sounds when you move it around. So. Today I'm going to be using my lovely, beautiful baritone ML3 BRFR. Yeah, mate, it's a beautiful guitar. So we should, with any luck, have a little bit of tone. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit record, and I'm going to be recording everything as we go along, so you can hear how it works, and then I'm going to track some stuff. So here we go. <laughs> So as you can hear, it's a pretty cool heavy tone and I'm using an overdrive channel. Now if I go back to the Torpedo remote, um, what you're going to get is some awesome, awesome preview of how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ring out a chord, move the mic around and you'll just see how sick this is. <laughs>
So there you go, that's a quick demonstration of moving the mic around. Again, you know, just to touch on the sort of the way it works is the closer to the center of the cone, the brighter and more brittle it becomes because that's where all the harsh frequencies are. And the further to the edge of the cone, it's going to be rumblier, bassier, more low midi. And the further back you go, you, you might find that the further back from the center, you're going to lose a little bit low end and a little bit high end. Uh, but you're probably going to gain a little bit more mid range because the airways have a chance to move. And then as you move it outwards from the center, it just becomes more booby and rumbly. So I'm going to go back to my preset just because it was in a pretty nice place. Liking that. So literally, I've chosen my microphone. What I'll show you really quickly is if I change the mic, it sounds different again. So yeah, I mean like, simply just moving about is changing everything. But I kind of like that microphone with this cab. Again, if I move cabs... So as you can see, there are absolutely tons, but I'm liking this one. So, now that I've shown you a little bit about what I can do with the two notes remote, um, I'm going to show you how I go about tracking some guitars. So what I'm going to do is just fine tweak this a little bit so you can see how I go about it. Let me just quickly demonstrate the front and the back because this is sick. You can hear that awful phasey tone and it's kind of like the fact they've included such a, the fact they're allowing you to create such a horrible tone just goes to show how far they've gone in terms of, you know, this is ridiculous. It's so insane. Um, but anyway, going back to, going back to my presets and I'm just going to fine tweak it. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to track the guitar riff, it's a completely random guitar riff, I'm just making it up. I'm going to track it on the left hand side and then I'm going to double track it on the right hand side with a slightly different tone from the Inferno so that you can hear how the two notes sounds when you double track it. It really is insane, it's like double tracking for any with any normal cabs in a proper studio. So here we go, let's try it out. Right, there we go. That would be one side, that would be the left hand side, and now what I'm going to do is we're going to track it on the right hand side, and then we'll be able to hear it played back. Okay, so what we've got there is a double tracked guitar uh, using two different channels on the Panama Inferno and then essentially I've tracked it with the same cab and miking setup with the two notes. Um, so nothing's changed there, but what you should get now is an accurate representation of 
a double tracked guitar with proper cab impulses and it should sound pretty fat. Let's have a listen. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, for me, that is, that's pretty chubby. Um, basically, there's not, I've not put any compression on that, I've not done anything to the uh, recordings other than I've got my mic placement on my, um, on the Torpedo remote, and I've just tracked two different channels on the Panama uh, Inferno and doubled it up, just playing a quick riff, and you can hear how fat and, you know, realistic it sounds. And I'm not just saying it because I'm I'm a believer in you know being as authentic as possible when you're recording and stuff like that. But sometimes, particularly for me and a lot of people, I imagine in the home studio, you can't crank an amp, you can't crank a valve amp with, through a speaker cabinet because people are just going to come round and just you know kick off. So I'm just going to get the tones I want because I'm using a valve amp, driving it however much I want to, up to 100 watts, of course and I'm getting the feel, it feels great, it feels like a real valve amp uh, through a cab, which is, which is what you want. So I hope that video was insightful, I hope it's uh, given you a bit of an idea of how beneficial uh, using a, a cab sim is, uh, something like Two Notes Torpedo Live or the Torpedo Reload, which has got the reamping function, or even the studio if you've got the budget for it. Possibilities are endless, I think it's a really, really good device, something worth looking into and hopefully this video has given you a little bit more of an insight into how to go about using it and how you, how you do use it um, and the kind of results you can get. This isn't just the only video I'll be doing on the Torpedo Live, I'm going to be showing you a few of the things that we can do, different sounds, different tones uh, and different feature sets. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you soon on the next video. Please comment in the comment section below. If you've got any questions I'll do my best to answer them for you. Um, and if you want to find anything else out about Two Notes, I'll leave it in the description. So uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Rabir and I'll see you soon.